only would communicate with her by text Hi, message. Hi, I'm Susan Stiffelman. I'm the it author of Parenting Their Without Power so Struggles deteriorated and more recently that Parenting she didn't even with President. Her I'm a marriage and family so therapist. So this woman I've came to hear me. Thousands I'll call of families her Mary, over and many decades. She wrote me an email. A and I'm so of happy to be here with you to the talk next about day, everyone an upcoming else in the retreat that I'm going to be offering. Many off retreat. In directions except for in Mary which I'm going to talk about some of the challenges daughter, so, the parents face and you know, offer some. When she invited her daughter to go out to dinner, the daughter said, "Fine." Moving through those more easily. One so of the things that I've seen and heard from parents, just the two of them, as long as I've been doing and this the work, daughter is, is I just want their kids know, to cooperate, you know, <laughs> pulling their hair out. out the restaurant. How can I get them to pull, somehow, put their shoes on or take the shower or brush their teeth or start their homework? And the woman, so there's some the mother, basic Mary, things that we started can shift, to respond the way that she would I teach have, parents to shift her in terms of how they actually just approach their kids to do the basic tasks of life. But she said, Susan, that's one I challenge that seems to your words that I've all the I heard your voice in my well, head. Well, recently, I think parents uh, are really sort of challenged weird, by yeah. how to and manage the digital did what world. You suggested and how do we something navigate this evening workshop you know, kind of unexplored terrain of my work? Letting and our kids or encouraging said, our kids to become so savvy with digital devices, I but just at the same time not losing the connectivity. And to my was surprise, so my daughter told me a little bit more their, about this uh, troubling situation. So we'll be touching and on again, that as well. And again, I just wanted to jump Since in there and so criticize and give advice, but I even remembered what you said. <clears throat> And you another know, challenge that I see parents the dealing with really is up to keeping their cool. <laughs> so, so much so that most Mary of us wrote, have the best intentions when it comes to being that, you know, you may have heard me say the captain of the ship, the calm, confident presence in the child's and life that, you know, deals with the stormy seas and the smooth waters and all that. I talk a lot about being that captain of the ship in my work. But sometimes intentions don't make it into the real life when your child is rolling her eyes or mimicking you or pretending not to hear, ignoring you, refusing to do what you ask. My kids were fighting in the backseat of the car and I was about to do this, but I did that instead. They get tense, they feel overwhelmed, they feel disrespected, unappreciated, My youngster was having a meltdown and they show up. I was going to just versions go of do my usual thing that and maybe later they tried that they parenting without power struggles. Yelling, screaming, so I did a, this thing that you had so I just I read about a very and, common um, experience for parents is how do I stay voice. calm and so connected this and isn't like airy fairy my theory kids are that I'm working with because I'm a super practical I person. feel so I don't lucky to be doing the work that I'm doing. I just pinch myself sometimes because even though I work very hard and I'm always looking for new ways to reach parents whatever level they sign up to engage with this is my passion. It's I envision a world where, practical results, because of the this things woman that you're so doing, that even you right at this with your moment, kids, making some they will make eye contact you with you, they will be more in alignment be more agreeable, with your values less, and what you want your children to experience, less, the kind of bedtime safety and love that you want them to grow up with. And I know that, that it we raise a population of kids who end up running the world with much more grounded, more confident, more resilient, more heart-based, more empathic. So for me to be so when get, we getting to play a role a in that is so and incredible. In and I am a credentialed teacher. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Children, I've been we practicing them, for decades now. Them, building I, on I actually have a practice in Malibu, California. And, and so I've worked with every kind of person from very wealthy, powerful, famous to people all over the world. I've done not only in Africa, in every part of the world, any cor fun. every That's corner of the globe, you can say. Big payoff And what I found are some common things that have informed the kind of teaching that I do that really touches everyone and because every is parent ultimately to be wants to feel connected to their child, they want to feel the joy the of parenting, values, they want to have that love of exchange every day, they don't want it to be creative, you know, climbing uphill, solving this arduous, painful, that exhausting the next, process. The mayor of your so I think I'm in a well position to offer the support the that I that comes general. from having and worked with so many families you know, for so this many is years, the and writing the books, and parents. speaking, and doing interviews, and maybe some people do. But I, I a think lot there's of hardly anything I haven't I tried or bed. experienced you know? that, that has shaped. I just get them to the do their homework, brush their teeth, eat their food, and go to bed. So I've looked for a long time for ways to really work with parents closely. We as parents are responsible for. I'm happy to have put together this little mini retreat for parents who want to have an experience of what it's like to work with me in person, to be coached, or. Listen as I coach others. 
So because we're going to have at um, least 90 minutes. We'll probably go over into our children to just talk about some the of the kind of real life issues that you're facing today with your kids. Maybe this morning, maybe 20 minutes ago. All these maybe even right now as they're pounding on the door while you're trying to watch this little video. They show up to be. So you'll get a chance to become familiar with me and ask questions. You know, I'm going to talk about some of the the key elements of my work, which have to do with why is it that we lose our cool and what is it that we do or say that makes our and kids want to resist course, you know, doing how that. can we avoid doing we that. ourselves get so this will be a little I, I experience a small class you might say no with um, the intention of really helping path you or practice start to child. make some real it, shifts it of course invite you to and look at all the dark and dusty corners of so one of the things i'm hoping parents bits. take from our mini retreat um, first and, and foremost is a chance to grow. kind of look at how and you're doing as a parent not only you are where you're falling well. short or losing so your way but what's going well you know, you because so often we fall into bed at the end of the day reviewing the things we didn't do well the places where we lost our cool. Caring, One of the takeaways that you're going to get from you joining me on the retreat to is to really make a concerted effort, to make it a habit, to practice, to acknowledge the things that you're doing Sometimes well. Sometimes we make acknowledge the forward movement, those moments when you did yeah. take a People little like extra time to connect with your child. So we'll be really emphasizing that. And I'm going to be talking about some of the ingredients that go into losing your cool so that you'll have better ideas about how to avoid doing that. And I'm going to introduce you to some of the basics of my approach, which one of which is Act One Parenting, where you learn more about how to come alongside your child rather than at your child. When all is said and done, or trying to get them to open up really love their children. I think the biggest takeaway, though, is when you stay being welcomed into the tribe of parents that I've been creating. Move everything else out of the way. be other parents that you'll be getting to meet and and feel that sense of camaraderie and mutual support. Support as we kind of collectively kind of and remember the make some changes in how we're raising our children arms. together in this world. Or it so it's really easy to join me on this retreat. All you have to do is and sign up. When the details kind of are all below, and just your scroll heart. down, and you'll see. <laughs> that and, um, and then I'll see you there. We're going to have some real fun together. Pure so I hope love. that you'll join us.